In this video, we are going to walk through a coding solution to the count active users by region REST API technical interview question. So let's jump in. So in this question, we are given access to a fake REST API endpoint, the API users. This endpoint expects a required string query parameter region and will respond with a JSON array of user objects in that region. Each user object has a Boolean field active and we need to implement a function that takes region then one issues an asynchronous get request to the API users endpoint with that region parameter. If the server reply status is not 200, we can immediately return zero. Otherwise we can parse the payload, count how many users have active equals true and return that count as an integer. And if the JSON array is empty, we simply want to return zero. So the input here is region is Europe and our response data for that we will have two objects. One will be Alice, who is active, and one who is Bob, who is not active. And so therefore our output is one, as we have one user in Europe who is active. And then for example two, we have region unknown. We have no mock data response for that, as the API is responded with 404. So again, we will simply return zero. So hopefully it's pretty straightforward. So let's get into the coding solution now. So firstly, we will have a try catch block so that any network or parsing errors are handled in one place. So I'll say try and then catch any errors. And then as the question said, we can simply return zero if any errors are caught. Then we can construct the URL first. We can say const URL equals, and so what we have here is just the base URL example.com API users. And then we can add on our query parameter region here, and then we can use encoded URI component region. And so this ensures that we are safely escaping spaces, symbols, and non ASCII characters. So the query string is valid. Then we can get our response by using the fetch API. So we can say const response equals await fetch, and we can pass in that URL. And so this will send a HTTP get request to that endpoint and await pauses only this coroutine, so not the JavaScript event loop until that network promise settles. We can then check for any non 200 status code responses. So if response.status does not equal 200, well, as the question said, we can just return zero like so. And then what we want to do is parse our data. So we can say const data equals await response.json. And so what this is doing is this is parsing the JSON body into an ordinary JavaScript object. And if the body isn't valid JSON, an exception is thrown and it is caught in the catch block. And so what we need to do now is filter for active users and then get the count of those. So we can say return data dot filter. So we'll filter over the users and then for each user, we can check if they're active and then we can simply get their count with the length property. So let's run the tests and see if they pass. Perfect, the test pass. Let's run the test suite to ensure all the tests pass. Perfect, all the tests pass. So super straightforward, but it's always good to practice these so that when you get asked them in an interview, you're ready. So if you wanna try it out for yourself, the link to the question is in the description and hopefully you got some value out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend. It helps the channel out a lot and I will see you in the next one.